What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and I'm back today with a two minute Tuesday. Someone in the comments recently asked how to do that stretch, skew, perspective, warp, individual resolve quickly and easily. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you're familiar with Fusion, you can do it in Fusion. If you were just to open Fusion up, go to the effects library, go to tools, come down to warp, and then there's a bunch of different tools in there that you can use. But that's been done before. There's already videos showing you how to do that. What I'm gonna show you is how to do it really quickly and easily in the Edit tab. So let's get straight to it. So here we are in the Edit tab, DaVinci Resolve. I've got some footage on my timeline. If you want a really limited, basic, but simple way to do it, give it a click, open up the inspector. You've got pitch and you've got your within there and you can just change these to really quickly change the pitch and the your. But as I say, it is pretty limited. Now, if you want a better way, open up the effects library, come down to open effects, and then scroll all the way down until you get to this area, resolve FX transform, and you've got this transform tool. Give it a click, drag it onto your footage and release. You should see the little FX logo in the bottom left-hand corner of your clip. Give it a click, open the inspector, click on the effects tab, and then you've got these transform tools in here. If you don't see all these tools, just click on the word transform to open this up. Now by default, it's on sliders and you just get all these different sliders to mess around with it, but it's kind of fiddly and it doesn't really do much more than the standard inspector. So let me just reset that. In the control mode, change that to be interactive canvas and then you get much more control. But by default, you may not see anything. So what you need to do, underneath this preview window, you've got the little drop down, give that a click, click on the open effects overlay and then you'll get this appear. And then it's just a case of clicking and dragging. So we can click and hold the corners, move those in, the bottom, move that in, sides, all that sort of thing. And then also you can click within these different boxes. So if I click on this middle box, I can just move it around. If I click on the corners, I can just skew that, change the perspective, and the same for the edges. And we can just move it around until we're completely happy with it. If you've gone a bit wrong, you can just click over here in the top right of the transform to reset it to the default change the sliders back to canvas, and then off you go. Now, what's also cool is that you can keyframe this. So I'm just gonna put my playhead at the beginning. Underneath the interactive canvas, we've got canvas keyframe with a little keyframe over to the right. We'll give that a click, and then let's just move my playhead forward a bit. Let's just drag it in, change it a little bit. And then if we hit play, it's done that keyframe, and we've got a real basic animation. Underneath that, we've got motion blur, so we can motion blur if we want to. We can do some additional cropping just by ticking the box and using the sliders. And then we can also mess around with the edges, increase the softness and increase the rounding. And there it is, easy as that. DaVinci Resolve, Effects Library, Open Effects, Transform, Slap It On, Inspector, Effects, change it to Interactive Canvas, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, comments down below, subscribe if you're new here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.